Tom Story, KTK News, your local election headquarters. And the race for lieutenant governor is one of the top races we're watching right here for the midterms. Republican incumbent Dan Patrick made a stop in Tyler today. KTK's Corinne Benandi is here now with more from his visit. Corinne. Yes, Neil Casey, Dan Patrick gathered a crowd at the historic Aviation Memorial Museum today as early voting continues throughout Texas. It's great to be in Tyler. Incumbent Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick made a stop in the Piney Woods as part of his 130 city tour all over rural Texas. We've been to over 100 cities, I believe, by now. A trail he says is essential to his campaign. 50% of the vote, roughly, is in rural Texas. While Patrick feels confident in his success for the rural red, we're going to win. He still wants to encourage everyone to make it to the polls. If we do really well, uh, but only half the people vote, then that's not good. Patrick answered questions on issues that have been driving this election, saying he vows to add more natural gas power to our grid. You have to have enough dependable, dispatchable natural gas, either coal or nuclear, and the federal government uh, is really put the clamps along with Joe Biden and all the Democrats on nuclear or coal. So you have to depend on natural gas, which we happen to have a lot of here in Texas. He also plans to improve property taxes. My goal is to take the homestead exemption to 55,000 this year and to 100,000. A major difference between Dan Patrick and his opponent Mike Collier is their stance on the border. We don't want Joe Biden's America. Uh, in Texas. We want a secure border. He says his Democratic opponent wants the opposite. The first thing that he and Beto O'Rourke would do, they'd pull off the National Guard. They'd stop the buses going to the northern cities. They'd pull off our state troopers and they would make it even more wide open than it is. That's their policy. A policy Patrick says would hurt our state. The federal government's not doing their job. We normally spend about 400 million a year in border security. Ten times that this year because of Joe Biden. The border is a disaster. For, for Texas and for America. The incumbent stressed his dedication to helping all of Texas, including the smallest areas of the Lone Star State. It's important that we protect rural Texas, uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna continue to do that. And it's important we grow rural Texas and we bring jobs and businesses. Well, this morning, Mike Collier's campaign actually sent Patrick a cease and desist about his recent political videos. The lieutenant governor says he stands behind his words and will not be pulling those ads. For more information about this race, head over to KETK.com. I'm live in studio, Corinne Benandi, KETK News.